The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Million Dollar Championship. Making his way to the ring from West Virginia, weighing in at 163 pounds, Evan. A lucrative opportunity here tonight with the Million Dollar Championship on the line. Winning this title would be an instant change of fortune for these men, literally. Virginia, weighing in at 163 pounds, Evan! Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for the vacant championship, which means tonight we finally crown one of these superstars as our next champion. And it's about time, if you ask me. Byron, he certainly seems to be showing more pride of late, wouldn't you say? I would, Michael, but he's got to be careful. There are more than a few whispers backstage about that pride possibly bordering on arrogance. And from West Virginia, weighing in at 163 pounds, Evan! It is always a unique situation when the Million Dollar Championship is on the line. This is going to be a memorable match. Yeah, but never forget that this is Ted DiBiase's title, Saxton. Doesn't matter who leaves the ring as champ tonight. The Million Dollar Man can repossess it at any time. And guys, you have to respect how much pride he has in what he does. I don't know, Michael. I understand the importance of having pride in what you do, but sometimes, I think he can be a bit overbearing. I don't know if he means to be, but that's definitely how he comes across at times. And from West Virginia, weighing in at 163 pounds, Evan! Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Cole, this match right here is the absolute definition of history-making. Whoever wins this will forever have their name in WWE history books. And that's really saying something. I'd say that he's among the most prideful superstars on the roster today. Well, when you accomplish what he's been able to accomplish, Michael, you have every right to be proud of yourself. Virginia, weighing in at 163 pounds, Evan! There's just something about the Million Dollar Championship that always just gets me even more fired up. I can't wait to call this match. It feels like the entire WWE Universe is fired up for the Million Dollar title match. And if they're not, all the champ has to do is slide a couple hundos their way. That'll get him jazzed. Byron, he certainly seems to be showing more pride of late, wouldn't you say? I would, Michael, but he's got to be careful. There are more than a few whispers backstage about that pride possibly bordering on arrogance. And from West Virginia, weighing in at 163 pounds, Evan! Guys, we finally crown a new champion here tonight. That's right, the title's been vacant for long enough. One of these superstars will be going home tonight as the new champion. And guys, you have to respect how much pride he has in what he does. I don't know, Michael. I understand the importance of having pride in what you do, but sometimes I think he can be a bit overbearing. I don't know if he means to be, but that's definitely how he comes across at times. And from West 
West Virginia, weighing in at 163 pounds, Evan. So much has transpired over the Million Dollar Championship. We're a few moments away from a new chapter in its storied history. It's a title truly befitting Ted DiBiase's iconic stature, Saxton. As such, each champion besides the Million Dollar Man must strive to meet that standard. I'd say that he's among the most prideful superstars on the roster today. Well, when you accomplish what he's been able to accomplish, Michael, you have every right to be proud of yourself. And their opponent from West Virginia, weighing in at 163 pounds, Evan. Here we go, guys. We're going to finally have a champion after this one. And you have to imagine these superstars are feeling the pressure here. You don't come into a match of this magnitude without feeling it at least a little bit. I'd say that he's among the most prideful superstars on the roster today. Well, when you accomplish what he's been able to accomplish, Michael, you have every right to be proud of yourself. Can you believe it's been almost three decades and WWE has still yet to sanction the million dollar title? What a travesty. Hey, look, Jack Tunney had a full play back then. It's been left back and going to be out of the state for years at a time. High profile match here tonight. Might finally make this title legit. Let's have to see. Nasty knee. Stomping. Ouch. Well placed kick. to the lower back, clutching the wrist. Just absolutely punishing their opponent here. Relentlessly. You know, I have to ask Corey, how much of an actual strategy is there in a no disqualification match? Honestly, it depends on the superstar's mindset. Some just want to get through. Others want to now a pen for the championship. He's on the ropes. The official sees that it waves off the pen. Oh my! Inflicting pain at will. Yeah. it. Palm strikes. Brutal stomp to the body. And just getting started. Look at this brutality. Cover. German suplex. But that's not all. Into a red card Larry. And what a combination. Setting it up. He'll head to the ring. Knee strike connects. Oh, saw it coming. There's some power behind that punch. Quick return to the ring. Oh, my. Inflicting pain at will. Performance. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Can't hit the target. Shot the next. What a punch. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Another one. Big four. What a physicality on display there. Oh, my. Inflicting pain at will. 
Decision strike to the back of the neck. Here's the pin title on the line. Go. That could have been it right there. Oh, with a chop. Up into the torture rack. People are going to be talking about this match for a long time coming. Talking about where they were when the title changed hands. Yeah, and we had the distinct pleasure of having the best seats in the house, gentlemen.